when you're thankful and you're humble and, and, and you realize that, that, that sports aren't for long, but for me to be in it, I realize that because I'm in it, I need to give it everything that I got. We at the beach, man. Got Clyde with me. Got another teammate coming, Moneyball. It's gonna work out on the sand. Florida boy life. That's how we become fast out here. So let me go ahead and mark this thing off. I wish I had my speakers. Love the game. Way of life. It is my life. I mean, he's a great teammate. He's a great, great guy. He's a great friend. I mean, he, he's dope, man. Love that boy. Everything that we out that we set ourselves out to do, everything we want to do, you know, it takes a journey, it takes a process, and everybody has to step up to that that journey. You step up to the plate and attack it, one step at a time. Oh, appreciate it, man. Appreciate y'all playing with us, man. Great day, y'all. Jacksonville, but it was a, a blessing that, you know, my mom got us out here at Argyle. Where we passing right now is where my friend uh, Tyrone Lenard Walker Jr. live. R.I.P. Rest his soul. 20 years old, he ended up um, losing his life to, to, to violence. He kind of gave me more of a purpose to be that much better at football because of the fact that he told me before he died, man, listen, you got a talent, you got a God-given ability, you need to do it. You need to give that, 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 that gift back. So, you know, I always felt like I had to give that back because of Tyrone Leonard Walker Jr. It's crazy. This little strip, when we would play, it would be like 20 on 20 out here, but it'd be so small, so it'd be a lot of collisions. And that's where the love for the game came. It just, I just, I just knew football was gonna take me places. And, and ever since then, I kind of kept, you know, just, just, just trying to be the best that I can be at it. Who's been your biggest role model? My biggest role model, we gonna pull up on her a few. And then my mom, she's just so strong and her being a single mother with my, with, you know, my dad being in the situation that he was in, being incarcerated. And she just, you know, she put it upon her shoulders, moved us up here when I was three by herself. She'll tell a story with a, she came up here with just a U-Haul and 80 bucks. And she said I had to make a, a new life for me and my kids, and she did that. This is the this is the casa where we grew up at. Hello. Hey. Hey, Terrence. How are you, love? This is this is mom. Hi. How are you? Hey, mom. Good to see you, love. You too. You too. Oh, good to see you. Coming up as a kid, this is what I just love to do. I just I just love sports. My dream was as a kid was to become just as good as these guys and actually put myself on the wall, which I still got a lot of work to do. Like any kid, uh, when you um, go through uh, life and maybe, you know, in a single family home, uh, sometimes you find um, kids can either go astray or they can stick with a program and go for it and I and he chose to do just that to go 
forward and, 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 and do successful things in life. So sophomore year going into spring, uh, this is like when I'm going into uh, junior year, going into the next year, uh, I had a, had a letter come to the house. It was a scholarship offer. And at the age of, age of 15, I had my first scholarship offer from the University of Connecticut. And uh, the funny story is, me and mom didn't think it was real. We thought somebody was playing with us, so we actually called uh, the number that they left us at, uh, at Connecticut and found that uh, it was a real scholarship offer. So that's when I got my first official D1 scholarship offer at 15. You know, sometimes in life, people aren't able to, to fulfill their dreams. They, they, they have other things that come up and maybe not have the support that they need, the backing behind them to push them, to encourage them. And so I'm just grateful that, you know, he was able to um, um, continue to achieve and, and still achieving the things that he wanted to do. What do you see him doing after his football career is over? Giving back to the community. Definitely giving back to the community, helping other children um, get to the next level or understanding what it took to get to that level. I always feel like I'm open to the children because I, when I was a kid, I didn't have that. I kind of had to learn on my own. So I think that's why I, I reach out to the kids and, 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 I, and my teammates that I have, like Jacob Hagen and all those guys, that, that, that's why they reach out to the kids because they want the kids to know that it's, a, it's, it's possible that you can make a dream come true, which my dream was to be a professional athlete. And I'm, I'm living it right now. And, and I'm just so blessed and thankful because some people who had the same dream as me aren't able to live it. Oh, man, we finna holler at the kids, man. <laughs> we finna holler at the kids, you know, talk to them about what's going on, how they can, how they can be how where we are, and then have a little fun with them, so it'll be fun. Thank y'all so much. They don't know y'all are here, so. They have no clue? No clue. I have three NFL prospects. One from Louisville, all right? I uh, have another one from UCF, all right, undefeated UCF this year, champions. I have another that played for Idaho, that's the leading rusher in the history of Idaho. Along with that, I have a Super Bowl champion from the Philadelphia Eagles. The top that come along with that, I also have a... I also have a safety from the Pittsburgh Steelers. And to go along with that, let's go ahead and double it up. I bought another champion from Canada. FSA, right? So, this FSA test, we had an FCAT test when we were younger. But the thing is, that test is the reason why we're here today because we had to pass that test and we had to work hard and we had to grind and go get it. Who's ready to grind and go get it? Let me hear you guys say, grind and go get it. It's good to see these professional athletes and elite athletes come back and give to the community and give to the kids and show them that, that you can do it. Anything you put your mind to, you can do it. As long as you got discipline, you work hard and set goals and have high expectations, you can achieve anything. TP is one of those guys, man. You, he's just a very humble guy. He's one of those guys that can be loving. He loves kids. He's passionate about everything. He's all about giving back. But at once click of a switch when it's football time, he's the same guy that's trying to rip your head off. I'm thankful for the fact that my family and, and, and my and my girlfriend, who who I, I leave for six six months out of the year, want me to go because they know that you're doing something that's, that's that that a lot of people that aren't able to do right now. So you need to be able to take these moments and this thankfulness and and, and apply it to your work. And I'm thankful for the CFL because it gave me that that drive again, it gave me an opportunity to put a helmet on again. And because of that, I will never take the game for granted. I will never take the moments and situations for granted. I think that's what I hang my hat on the most, just being able to be relatable to those people.
people and know that I'm always work hard because they weren't able to get there and because of that I'm thankful that I was able to get there and I need to I need to continue to be that thankful. Hey man, shout out to my man, my family, my people, Martin Marley, you know what I'm saying? Awaken Productions, all that man, we killing it out here today. Shout out to Rise and Grind, Coach Smith, Jake, Savon. We do this every day, man, it's what we do.